Hello, this is indices and certs lesson four. In this, I will continue with the more examples on indices and certs. First example I have written y is equal to five power one by three minus five power minus one by three. You need to calculate the value of five y cube plus fifteen y. One thing you can do while listening to these lesson. Now the question I have written. You should pause the video and try to solve first yourself. I am again saying pause the video and try to solve yourself. If you are not able to solve, then you can see the way I have. So now y is given to you. We need to calculate the value of five y cube. Now y we know we need to calculate y cube. Definitely we will go by the conceptual way. I will solve this question with the help of conceptual way because I can't solve this question with the help of options or any kind of assumptions. Now you must be knowing that a minus b cube is how much? This is equal to a cube minus b cube minus three ab into a minus B. Now what is a? This is a. This is b. So a q would be how much? Five power one by three power q minus five power minus one by three power q minus thrice into five power one by three into five power minus one by three into a minus b. Now what is a minus b? A minus b is given to you as y. Very important. If you will Write a minus b as five power one by three minus five power minus one by three. This will make the things complicated. This is your y cube because a minus b we have assumed y. So y cube is equal to five power one by three into three. At the bracket will open, power will get multiplied. You will get one by three into three five minus five power minus one by three into three minus one five power minus one minus three into Five power one by three minus one by three. The base is same. Power will get added. One by three minus one by three is zero. So this five power zero will you will get into y. Solving this, you will get y cube is equal to five minus five power minus one is one by five. Anything raised to the power zero is one. So this is three y. So you get y cube minus three y. You are getting as five minus one by five. That is twenty four by five. Now you need to calculate the value of five y cube plus fifteen y. Definitely, mult cross multiply five y cube plus fifteen y will answer would be twenty four. So you can solve this question in exam in less than a minute. Next example is five raised to the power x two raised to the power y plus two one eighty nine five raised to the power x plus one plus two raised to the power two y minus three six fifty seven. Now this is a question. Now you first try to solve the question by pausing the video. If you are not able to solve, then look at for solution. Now, how to solve such kind of question? See, there is you can see that there is no basically conceptual way to solve this question. Rather than going for conceptual way, better is to apply the common sense and logic. Which power of five and which power of two will give you one eighty nine? It's easier. I will take this five power x two power y plus two. I need to get one eighty nine. How can I get this? See. If x and y, I'm taking x and y here. X, y. What is the minimum value of x we can take? Given that x and y are positive integer, we can take the minimum value of x as one. So five power one become five. Plus, what we need to make the number one eighty nine. We need one eighty four. If you know that powers of two, no powers of two, and make the number one eighty four. This is not the right solution. Next value of x we can check is two, five power two, five power two x. I am putting two. This is this was for one. If x is two, then five power two is twenty five. What we need to make a number one eighty nine. We need number should be one seventy, one sixty four, one sixty four plus twenty five. That will make one eighty nine. Now you must be knowing that no power so two raised to power No powers of two becomes one sixty four. If you know the powers of two, two power eight is two fifty six. Two power seven is one twenty eight. So there is no way one sixty four can come in the powers of two. This is again not a solution. Now put x is equal to three. If you put x is equal to three, you know that this is five power three. This becomes five power three. Five power three is how much? One twenty five. How much you need to make it one? 89. You need 
now you know that which powers of 2 make 62 so 2 power 6 we know that is 64 so can I say x is equals to 3 we got x is equals to 3 as 5 power 3 is 125 now 2 raised to power y plus 2 this is definitely 64 and we know that this is equals to 2 raised to power 6 the base is same power will get equal y plus 2 is equals to 6 y is equals to 4 so we got x3 and y4 check this options x3 y4 in the other equation we got x as 3 y as 4 other equation i am writing in the downside that was 5 power x plus 1 2 power 2y minus 3 this must make 657 x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 4 now x is equal to 3 this becomes put this 5 power 4 2 power 5 is it making 657 5 power 4 is 625 plus 2 power 5 is 32 you get 657 so it means that this x3 y4 is satisfying both the equation now what should be the answer we need to calculate the value of x plus y this must be 3 plus 4 7 the answer is 7 so this question i have solved with the help of simple logic or this example number 4 I did, it's a different kind of example again first try to solve yourself and then look at the video if you're not able to solve now these all the things are equal by first appearance it seems that no power of 3 is equals to no power of 4 because every power of 4 comes even this always comes odd and they never be equal but how to solve such kind of question see the better way is that you should assume better and safe ways that this is equals to k this question i will solve with the help of concept equals to k now 3 power x is equals to k 3 power x is equals to k can i write like 3 power x power 1 by x is equals to k power 1 by x putting the same power on both side nothing will change this will become 3 is equals to x if you open the bracket it becomes 3 is equals to k power 1 by x solving further way you will in the same way you will get 4 is equals to k power 1 by y solving the similar way i hope you can solve it 12 is equals to k power minus 1 by z now by common sense you know that 3 into 4 is equals to 12 now what is this 3 k power 1 by x into k power 1 by y is equals to k power minus 1 by z this is k power 1 by x plus 1 by y is equals to k power minus 1 by z now the base is same power will be equal you will get 1 by x plus 1 by y is equals to minus 1 by z and solving it further you will get 1 by x plus 1 by y minus 1 by z come to the left side becomes 1 by z this is equals to 0 so answer is 0 option number that is third option your answer would be 0 so this question I have solved in a conceptual way the next question is given that ABC is 1 you need to find the value of this now if this question you will try to solve with the help of concept for example what is the value of b power minus 1 this is 1 by b so from here 1 by b you will get is equals to ac and same way you will put the value of 1 by c 1 by a try to solve the things will get complicated and complicated this question income if in exams comes you can solve this question in less than 20 seconds let me tell you how see whenever questions contains variable a b c in question you can see that there are variables a b c in answer options in answer options there are variables same variables a b c so very important whenever the questions have variables a b c and answer options are also variables a b c you can always use the assumption method i told you the four methods concept option logic and assumption now we can always assume now given that a b c is one and no condition is given regarding a b c whether they are real number or they are integer but no information given 
so we will assume as far as convenience the best assume assumption is assume a is equals to 1 a i am assuming 1 b is also 1 c is also 1 i am assuming a as 1 b as 1 c as 1 i am solving in the question itself 1 1 and 1 now this becomes the questions become like this 1 upon 1 a value is 1 you can see this a value is 1 plus what is b power minus 1 b power minus 1 see b is 1 1 power minus 1 is also 1 this becomes 1 by 3 plus same way this becomes 1 plus 1 plus 1 1 upon 1 plus 1 plus 1 this becomes 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 answer is 1 even if you can assume that a b c as 2 2 and 2 you can not 2 2 and 2 you can assume a b c as I am writing downside. It's not uh, definitely that you should assume one one one. You can also assume that a b c one. The only thing is that we may have to make a b a into b into c one. You can assume this is two. This is one. This is one by two. Again one. Assuming this, you will also able to solve this question in the same way, and answer will again be one. So very important. You can see that with by using assumptions, I can solve this question in exam in twenty seconds. I don't need to so go by the conceptual way. I will assume the, I will solve with the help of assumption method. And where to use assumption? Don't forget. Whenever the variables are there in questions, ABC, and the same variable ABC are there in the answer choices. In the next class, I will continue with more videos on indices and certs. Thank you.